the maximum speed of 260 kilometers per hour and a range of 950 kilometers. This helicopter is capable of carrying 24 troops or up to 3.3 tons of weight. The upgraded B-17-1B and the b 17 v 5 variants are being extensively used by the Indian Air Force and are truly the workhorses of the helicopter fleet. Two cheetahs. The cheetahs today are being flown by Air Commodore Kunti and Colonel Surinda. Coming next is the Rudra formation of ALH Mark IV weapon variants led by a group captain Manish from Indonesia. This formation is being entirely flown by test pilots of ASD Air Force. Now, here comes the Danish formation led by Vikramadja John and Vikramadja This formation is being flown by the chair of Army Aviation Test Pilots. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, comprising this awesome helicopter formation is the new formation of the ALS. led by Colonel Chai and Colonel Bhai. HL is greatly indebted to the Army Aviation and Air Force for an invaluable support in the incredible array of the Ladies and gentlemen, I will hold the mission to explain the fixed-wing formation which will follow it for India by India of India HALs making it.
for the very first time in front of nation, is the youngest and latest member of the Gold Helicopter family, the Light Utility Helicopter. A few minutes back, you had witnessed this beauty commander Unni Pillai along with Anil Bhambani. The LUH is a three-ton class helicopter powered by a single turboshaft engine, the Arden 1U. What you see in front of you is the first prototype which is currently undergoing trial. The display today will be limited to the clear envelope. The complete potential of this marvelous machine will be unveiled in the future edition.
combined with the single engine heli which we have witnessed just before and the world war horse, the ALH Dhruva Rudra, HAL has displayed complete mastery of the art of design and heli development of helicopters and therefore now venturing into a, yet another frontier, the heavyweight category with the IR arch. The walk of IR arch. Leaps off its speed to zero and turns with the tail rotor, the stalter. Let me emphasize again that this is an extremely difficult maneuver to be performed by any other helicopter. Ladies and gentlemen, this aircraft has the markings of a winner. As now pushed to perform its signature maneuver, the shot predator this time to the left. Last edition of Air of India, we had this LCH. This edition we have unveiled in which next edition we will come up with the high march. All made completely. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause as the LCH is next week after the following this week. Thanks and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, line up for takeoff next is the Dow Havilland Tiger Mark of the Indian Air Force with the Gypsy Major 4 cylinder engine capable of developing 149 bhp. Please look in front, elegantly taking off with the vintage beauty of the IA, which will perform a host of maneuvers, reminding us of a glorious past. Tagamon is being flown by Wing Commander Prashant Maya, who is a qualified flying instructor and experimental test pilot posted at the aircraft and assisting establishment. Figure of
presently a test pilot at the National Flight Test Center, a qualified flight instructor and an experimental test pilot. He has over 3,000 hours of flight on various types of fixed wing aircraft.
as the Italians are positioning the income not too long to carry out a series of roles as it flies in front of you.
Soldiers Box Stop is coming to the river to a halt. Landing on runway 09 from the left. The event created by SAR will remain at the leading edge of technology for at least 40 to 50 years.
Marty is in the final maneuver, a splitters and full stop. Notice pilot loading the undercarriage while inverted and executing an oblique break-off and short landing. As Marty approaches the landing, he will disobey and stop in less than half the runway. Wings, wild weasels, and as a matter of the Pacific Air Forces, 
General Terrence J. O'Shaughnessy. We thank you for being with us today. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look of the F-16 Fighting Belcher. Thank you. 